Hey, what's up guys? My name is John Weatherby. I'm a Florida-based travel landscape photographer. I'm hanging out in a hotel in Montana today, so I figured this would be a good chance to make a quick little tutorial for you. So I've gotten a lot of requests lately on how I make the slide photo post on Instagram. Now, if you didn't know, images on Instagram at a 4x5 vertical crop are going to get more attention, more engagement. This is because it's going to take up more of the screen on the phone, so users viewing the photos are going to be more likely to engage uh, with a photo that has you know, more details and it appears bigger on the screen. So uh, this doesn't work very well for us landscape photographers who generally shoot landscape orientation. So the hack is you're going to crop 4x5 vertically of the image and then you're going to make a slideshow of the full image to where the users can seamlessly slide through the image and view the full landscape shot. So this is really easy. You're going to want to have your final edited image. The ratio is 4 by 5 for the crop. So you're going to go to crop tool and then you're going to set the ratio based on how many slides you want. So for this I want two slides. So it's going to be two 4 by 5 shots or eight wide, five tall, which is going to split down the middle be two 4 by 5 shots. Okay. So the drawback is you do lose a little bit of the top and bottom if you are shooting 2 by 3 but you know you can transform the image to where you get what you want within that 8 by 5 ratio crop. So I'm okay with losing a little bit of the sky. I really like the flowers. So I'm just going to move that down a little bit. Boom. So that's 8 by 5 ratio. Click check. All right, now I'm going to go right back to the crop area and I'm going to select the slice tool and I'm going to draw a slice over the whole image. I'm going to right click and divide slice. Divide slice vertically into two. Now that we have our sliced image, we can see we have two four by five ratio cropped images. You can see a little preview here. Now you're going to hit Command Option Shift S or Control Option Shift S on a PC that's going to save for web. Now you're going to want to make sure that you have the slice checked and when you hit save it's going to go ahead and save the images into a separate folder. And I'll call this wildflowers slide. Now you can see that the first image is here and the second image is here. So that'll be a perfectly sliced 8 by 5 ratio giving you two 4 by 5 shots that'll slide seamlessly in Instagram. I'll also go back and revert to when I opened it and I will make a crop at 4 by 5 for the portion that I do want to show as my cover photo. Generally, it's just the centered crop. And I'll crop that. And then, same thing Command Shift Option S, save the web. And that's going to be slide cover. Another thing you might want to do is save the whole image but on a 4x5 white background. So you go to your crop and then select 4x5 ratio. Go ahead and crop that. So now the full image is on the center. So you can have that maybe on the last slide so you can show the full image as well. Go ahead and save that for web as well. And I'm saving these images at 3000 pixels tall. Um, that's generally what I save all my 
Instagram images at. And at that point, I would just airdrop or email the images to myself and then open them in Instagram and post them in the sequence, probably the center crop, then the first half, the second half, and then the full image so that the user first sees the 4x5 image and then is able to slide through the landscape shot in the two posts and then slide to see the full image on the white background. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so this is super easy. You're going to open up Instagram once you have the images on your phone you're going to select the multiple option, have the cover image as your first selection, the first half of the image as your second photo, the second half for the third photo, and then the full image for your fourth. So I'm not gonna actually post this, but I'm gonna show you guys what it would look like. So you have the cover image show up in the feed first, then you're able to have the viewers scroll through the full image and then you can see the full image on the white background for the fourth. Hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see similar content in the future, and appreciate it. Have a good one.